Would you like to see a little known and a little used option trading strategy that's put almost $20,000 extra into my pocket over the past 22 months? And the cool thing about this strategy is that it didn't require a whole bunch of extra margin for my trading account. So it's kind of like icing on the cake. And what I like even more about it is that it's a simple trade that you can do just once a month or once every other month that doesn't require a bunch of monitoring. In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly what this trade is, how I go about entering these positions, how I manage the position. I'm going to show you all my exact trades over the past 22 months, how I fix the position when the trade goes against me, as well as what our position is right now in this trade. Here you see all my trades in this position from the past 22 months. Notice at the bottom right corner where the red arrow is, that we've pocketed almost $20,000 in this one position over the past 22 months. Now, before I get into the details about this trade, let me first share with you what my typical trades look like because it's important when it comes to the margin requirement for this position. Typically, I like to do cash secure put options, covered calls, and I like to use some more advanced techniques like poor man's covered calls, selling leap cash secure put options, ratio spreads, risk reversals, and option spreads. And that's important for you to know because even though I have the cash set aside in various places, for all the cash secure put options we've sold. The trade I'm going to share with you in this video requires some margin requirement. And the margin required for our cash secure put options is kind of the complete opposite of the margin required for this position I'm going to share with you in this video. And that's important because even though I have the cash set aside for all the cash secure put options I've sold, the trade I'm going to share with you in this video that we've done for almost two years now, although it does require margin, it's somewhat offset by the typical cash secure put options that I like to sell. So it's almost, but not quite, like doing this trade with no additional margin requirement. So how have we made an extra $20,000 without using much margin? Well, our technique is simple. We sell naked call options against the S&P 500. Or if you wanted to consider a similar trade, but cap your possible losses, you can sell a bearish call credit spread against the S&P 500. Now please know this is a strategy you wanna make sure you understand completely before you begin to take a position similar to what we've been doing over the past couple of years. In fact, I encourage you, if you've never traded naked call options, I encourage you to paper trade those call options and wait to trade of real money until you have several positions that go against you. You see how your margin requirement responds and how you go about repairing those positions. So please be very careful if you decide to do a trade similar to what we do, but if done properly, this type of trade can complement other positions if you're selling cash secure put options and doing a lot of covered calls. I'm going to share with you all the details about this position and I'm going to focus in on when the position went against us so you know how to repair a similar type of position. But it's very important that you understand the risk you're facing anytime you enter a trade. Have a plan in place in case the trade goes against you. And of course, never use much or any margin or leverage if at all possible. Margin and leverage, if used properly, it can improve your returns but if used improperly, it can actually blow up your account. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you our exact current margin requirement on this position. Now our basic concept with this strategy is to sell naked call options against SPX, which is the S&P 500. If you want to do a similar position, both a lower dollar amount, you might consider doing it with SPY or XSP, which are both also representations of the S&P 500. Now the basic concept is to sell naked calls against the S&P 500. Here you see that we sell naked call options against SPX. And then we close those call options out when we've received about 85 to 90 percent of the potential profit. When we close those out, we always roll them out 30, 60, or sometimes even 90 days. And when we do that, we adjust the strike price depending on if the market's looking bearish or looking bullish. Here you see the weekly chart of SPX. At each one of the yellow arrows, that's the day that we either entered or rolled our naked call options against SPX. And the number below that yellow arrow is the naked call option strike price that we sold for the next month. So here you see that the week of September 17th of 2021, with SPX trading for around 44.54, we sold the $4,600 naked call option, which was about 3% out of the money. Fast forward to the week of October 29th, and we closed out the options that we previously sold and sold new options by selling the 47.50 naked call option. That call option we sold was over 4% out of the money from where SPX was trading. And here you see that each one of these arrows, we sold call options that were above and sometimes really far above 
where SPX was currently trading. From the end of 2021 through the beginning of 2023, the S&P 500 cooperated with us on this position because of a nice down market. So these naked call options we sold were becoming worthless and we were able to close them out and sell new call options that were still out of the money and collect a nice premium. However, in January of 2023, the market reversed and became a bullish market on this weekly chart. Notice that from the beginning of the year, which is about seven months ago, the S&P 500 was up 20% until last week. So we always try and sell these call options pretty far out of the money, usually three to four, sometimes even 5%. However, what do you do when the market goes way up like it has this year and your call options are challenged? Here you see that the week of May 5th, we sold the 4550 naked call options against SPX. And I thought that was a pretty safe trade because the S&P 500 was trading for around 41 55 so that 45 50 naked call option was almost 10 percent out of the money and i sold that far out of the money because the sp 500 was starting to look kind of bullish in my opinion it had broken through this downward sloping trend line and now appeared to be reversing course and switching from a bearish market to a bullish market and that's exactly what happened thankfully we sold that naked call option pretty far out of the money because we recognized that the market had switched from a bearish market to a bullish market but in spite of that over the next several months the S&P 500 went up 10% and that 4550 naked call option was challenged. Notice that the week that we rolled this position, our 4550 naked call option actually went in the money because SPX reached a high of $4,578 during that week. However, we patiently waited for the opportunity when I thought was the best time to roll and adjust this position and that's exactly what we did. Here you see the trade alert I sent out to my patrons as soon as I knew that our roll order got filled. We bought to close the SPX July 31st, $4,550 naked call options, and we sold to open the October 31st, $4,800 naked call options. For that, as you see here, we pocketed $8.10 per share. Now, I know some of you don't like to use the term per share, but that's how I look at these trades. We just want to remember that each one of these contracts is equivalent of 100 shares. So for this roll order, we got $1,620 minus the $5 commission. So now we've bought ourselves some more room for the SP 500 to go up quite a bit and still win on this trade. Now we had to go farther out in time to roll this for a nice credit, but I was very happy to get it rolled up to 4,800. And the reason is that that was the high from the market from early back in 2022. So I believe that right now that's the target for the S&P 500. It's going to push to try to get to that level unless something happens to spook the markets. For now, it found resistance around $4,650, which was in the vicinity of the high from back in April of 2022. It appears that the market will try and retrace to find support. And then if this bull market continues, from there it'll go up and mostly could try and challenge that $4,800 high from early 2022. Sometimes these naked caution positions, if they go against you, you have to go farther out in time than just one or two months. In this case, we went out three months to get it rolled way up, way out of the money, and still pocketed some nice premium. With SPX trading around $4,530 when we did this trade, by selling that $4,800 October naked call option, the S&P 500 could go up almost 6% before that naked call option is challenged. Now let me talk you through the margin requirement of selling naked call options using the portfolio margin we have in our account. Here you see our current naked SPX October 31st call option. Notice the maintenance margin requirement is $64,770. And remember that that margin requirement will go up if SPX also goes up. For example, here I've simulated an event where our $4,800 call option was at the money. If that were the case, then our margin requirement would go up from the $64,770 margin requirement to just over $75,000. Now keep in mind that with portfolio margin, since we have a very diverse portfolio, interactive brokers won't penalize us as much as if we had regular margin. So just keep that in mind when you're assessing the risk of your position if you decide to do a similar type of trade. Of course, you want to cap your potential loss. You can definitely look to do bearish call credit spreads instead of selling naked call options like we've been doing. Selling naked call options or bearish call credit spreads against the S&P 500 is a potentially nice way to collect some extra cash if you primarily have a bullish to neutral option stock portfolio that you can trade that position against. When you think through it, the margin requirement of the cash secure put options will go up if the market goes down, whereas this naked SPX call option position, the margin requirement will go down if the market goes down. So the two margin requirements, they kind of move opposite of each other. Thus, you're kind of getting this position, not necessarily for free, but it's not adding to your margin requirement if the market moves against your cash secure put option positions. Just please keep in mind with these positions that markets can stay irrational longer than you can stay solvent if you're using a bunch of margin. Although I believe the market was about to go up when we rolled that position several months back, I didn't think it would go up as fast and as much as it did. Thankfully, we saw the potential for the market to explode, which is exactly what happened. We previously picked a naked call option strike price 
that was right around we expected to find resistance if the market were to go up. Well, that's exactly what happened. So technical analysis saved us on this position, made it so we were able to roll for a nice cash in our pocket. But just keep in mind that markets can move really fast against your positions. So you wanna make sure you have a plan in place for every position that you trade. Now with this strategy of selling naked call options, you especially wanna be very careful in very strong bullish markets like we've been experiencing the past several months. That's why we were so careful to get our strike price rolled up to what should be an area that should serve as strong resistance for the S&P 500. Understanding how to create a portfolio and positions that complement each other is a great way to generate some extra cash in your option trading account while not risking that much more because they are technically opposite positions. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we do trades, like the naked caution position that I share with you in this video, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see how I've used our upgraded version of the optional strategy to retire early, check out the video at the link above in the description below entitled, Does the Option Will Strategy Work? Retirement Planning. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.